Hi everyone, Tamara with AIO Realty and Property Management, your all-in-one real estate and property management solution. So today's quick tip video is going to be on residential income. What is residential income? Basically is when you invest in a property and you are receiving income out of the person that's living there. So the resident is paying you rent, you have a residential income property. Now usually, when you think about residential income, it tends to be a multi-unit property. So more apartments, more doors is another way that they say it. So an apartment building, maybe a duplex, a triplex. So when you're talking to a realtor or a broker, you want to let them know, you know, I'm looking for a single unit property if you're only looking for one, because if not, they're automatically going to assume it's going to be a multi-unit piece of property. So let's start from the basics. When you are investing in residential income, you want to have two things in mind. What type of investment do you want? Do you want to buy a property that's more expensive and you'll be getting less money a month in rent, but the property is what you're buying, right? So you're buying this amazing piece of property that you know the income is going to keep on increasing, the value of the property is going to keep on increasing, but your rate of return is going to be less a month, or do you want to buy a piece of property that the piece of property may not be as expensive, but that rate of return, so that monthly income that you're getting from the rent is higher than what you would be getting if you're buying a more expensive property. Why would you have to consider both? Because it's very hard to get both those things. It's very hard to buy an amazing piece of property for very little money where they're paying a huge amount of rent, right? It's rare. So you can buy a great piece of property that is going to be in an up and coming area where we're vetting that eventually in five, 10 years, if not more, that area might become like this one, but it's still a, a risk, right? It's a bit riskier. It may be an area that's more transient. So it means that the tenants will stay there one to three years rather in this other piece of property where the tenants may stay there four to five years, but you know, they're very quality tenants. It all depends. And both, both aspects, both considerations are good considerations. Like one is not better than the other. You just want to see where you are in life at that moment when you're investing. Do you want to get more money on a monthly basis or do you want to get more money when you resell the property? Now, in the ideal world, we would have both. We're going to diversify the investment and have both aspects. But in all reality, it usually is going to tend to one side or the other. So knowing what you want to do, do you want to do a less risky investment, put more money down, but that money is going to be held there. So it's basically like a very long-term savings account. Or do you want a high return savings account where you're buying a piece of property where you're getting more money out, more money than you would be getting in your regular bank. So once you know where you want to be at and what you're looking for, you're going to be able to verbalize that to your realtor or to your broker that's helping you out. So when you're looking for a piece of property, they're finding you what it is that you want. Now, keep in mind that as a property manager, both pieces of property are easy to manage. If you have a good property manager, we manage it a little bit differently because the type of tenants that may be in there is going to be differently. Um, they might be different type of tenants, but at the end of the day, if you have a good property manager like myself, they're going to be focused on your investment and they're going to be focused on making sure that your investment is maintained and is increasing and if they are not focused on that find another property manager okay <laughs> if you have any questions whatsoever please reach out to me i'm always here to help even if you're managing your own property and you may need some tips reach out to me i'm always here okay thank you so much